we've built it up enough, and it's time to jump in. It's WrestleMania, and of course, I'm back with Sam. Hell yeah, Johnny Gargano, Drew McIntyre, presented by Snickers. What's bigger? Well, next year's WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's, that? what's that presented by? Mountain Dew? Pitch Black? Uh, good question. You know, uh, I don't know if it's relevant to this match, uh, but I saw these guys square off one time and evolve, and it was really, really fun. Oh yeah, I mean, both these guys have a long-standing legacy, uh, long-standing legacy outside of WWE, and it is something that's very prevalent within the ranks of WWE right now. The amount of legacy that these that guys have outside of the company. Yeah, definitely a lot of a lot of rich history here. Yeah. Johnny Gargano, before he signed with the company, he was like king of the indies. Now he's king of Monday Night Raw, and he's taking it to Drew McIntyre. Both men miss it wildly there, but now Drew's back on top. <laughs> Drew is back on top. You know, Drew McIntyre is somebody that was flying under the radar last year since I actually started doing this. And now, suddenly, I mean, this just shows how much the Royal Rumble can change things. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Drew McIntyre's on top of the game. Top of the business. He wins the Rumble, and here he is in the uh, main event of WrestleMania. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> definitely a size advantage, too. But uh, Gargano's just taking it to him. Gargano is like, already for him. I think he did his homework on this. And, but, oh, that's an. I mean, that looked like an interesting bit of offense, but the size of Drew McIntyre, as you said, played a part in him getting the rope break there. Yeah, dude. But. Yeah, Drew can get his comeback here. I mean, Drew's got to use his size to take oh. to keep Johnny, Johnny down, and Johnny's got to keep it. Got to get his speed. You know, speed advantage for Johnny is what's going to keep him in the match. What is Drew doing here? He picks him up for a suplex and he takes him down. Is that some sort of Mitch Goku driver? I believe that's uh, oh, maybe a Falcon variation arrow. of the Falcon Arrow. That's right. That's a Falcon Arrow. Hell yeah. Shades of Seth Rollins with that one. And Shades of oh, D'Lo Brown with that one. Drew McIntyre, man. He's just, uh, just a house of fire today. Showing his power, intensity. But this is not this is not all we got. We got the women's the women's side of things too with Natty against Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship and Tegan Knox trying to complete her Cinderella story against Becky Lynch for the SmackDown title. Hey, uh, Drew McIntyre just showed how he won the Royal Rumble by uh, knocking Johnny over the top rope. Yeah, that's a very very astute point there, Sam. <laughs> These two guys are on the outside. Now, anything can happen on the outside. Uh, this is where, like, oh, he just tossed him. He picked him up for a suplex and just tossed him. I love that. That's incredible. Hey, <coughs> uh, but incredible. But also not, uh, not outs, uh, it's not just that, but also Jinder Mahal's Don't Hinder Jinder Tour comes to a head with its final destination at WrestleMania where he has the chance to get his revenge on the guy who took the belt throw away from him as, Garga as Gargano's fall victim to, that, to a headbutt from Drew McIntyre. But Jinder Mahal goes against Universal Champion AJ Styles and Santos Escobar puts his number one contendership honors on the line against the technician Drew Gulak. Oh, that should be fun. That should be fun. Gargano. Oh, I thought Gargano was setting himself up for a power driver, but he turned that into something crazy. Something crazy. I believe uh, people of another company call that the Deadeye. Ah, I see. Look at the power from jo uh, from Drew McIntyre. Oh, he picks him up and he toss Drew McIntyre just tosses Johnny Gargano around. Johnny's just blocking oh, everything. He misses. he misses the big clothesline. Johnny bound to come back. Oh. He, I'm just block, flatliner. Rock bottom. Oh, rock forward. 
soccer ball kick to the lower back. I mean, if Gargano focuses on the lower back, how much is that going to play a part in deterring the power of Drew McIntyre during this one? Well, you know, if he gets Drew on his back and he, uh, Drew can't walk, then they're both the same height. Claymore! Oh, he busted him open! Right. Bleed like a stuck pig! You see the blood trickling down the face of Johnny Gargano right on his forehead. Dude. Oh, Johnny Gargano kicks out. The frustration. I mean, how how can Drew McIntyre keep his composure? How important, I should say, is it for Drew to keep his composure in this one after Johnny kicked out of the Claymore? What does Drew have to do to keep him down? That's like his biggest move. He's got him up now. What's he going to do with him? Johnny squirmed away. Oh, Johnny. German suplex. I mean, you spoke to Johnny Gargano's presence on Evolve. I've been watching Johnny since his time on Evolve and in Dragon Gate. And just to see how far he's come, it's crazy to know how far he's come to where he's been because he's improved so much over the last 11 years. But just to point out, 11 years, that's how long I've been watching Johnny Gargano. Oh, Cornell DT. Yeah, that's incredible, man. And then, like I said, these two guys, they just have a story history. Evolve, they were at NXT for a cup of coffee together, and now here they are again at the, at the grandest stage of them all. It just shows how crazy wrestling can be, and it looked like that Drew McIntyre may be getting a little frustrated. Yeah, that, this is like Drew McIntyre's crowning moment. You know, what's he got to do to keep this guy down? Not jo that, apparently. Johnny kicked out again. Johnny kicked out again, but Drew McIntyre has to stay on Johnny Gargano. He can't let Johnny get 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 some space. Oh, he stepped on his arm. Of, of the title matches, of the title matches at WrestleMania tonight, who do you, do you have, like, the odds-on favorite, in your opinion, from Tegan Knox to Drew McIntyre to Jinder Mahal to Santos Escobar to Asuka, who could walk away from WrestleMania as champion? You know, out of those names you just mentioned, I feel like Asuka probably has the best chance because Asuka's the, the Empress of Tomorrow. And none of those other people are the Empress of Tomorrow. Well, yes, that's true. I don't know. I, I think Drew has a chance to win here. I think Drew could beat Johnny Gargano, but can he, though? Can he pull it out of himself to do it? Uh, you know, Jinder Mahal, uh, he has a lot to prove. We'll see. He has a lot of pressure on his shoulders tonight. Uh, so we'll see where that stands. And as far as, like, Tegan Knox goes, uh, Tegan Knox is an up-and-comer, you know, so I feel like when those are draw, uh, Tegan Knox will have her day. If it's not today, it'll be a different day. I completely agree with that as Drew McIntyre is busting out things we've never seen from him, like a clothesline off the apron. Just to, but Asuka, just, Asuka's on top of her game. Asuka's on top of her game, so I'm I, looking I, forward to seeing Asuka. I do agree. To, to retrace our steps, Asuka won a six-pack survivor challenge or a top contender survivor challenge among six other or five other i apologize five other top contenders within the women's division which mean which meant she won a six-pack iron man match to get the opportunity tonight but in many respects bailey was screwed by the referee because the referee focused on the submission as opposed to bailey's count out a Bailey's pinfall, but Drew McIntyre, I think he just realized how high the count was that he had to get back outside the ring because he can't win on count out. But now, my question is with that being said, and the likelihood of Bailey being a top contender for the Raw Women's Championship, because she has unfinished business with Asuka after that top contender's survivor challenge. Is that going to be in the back of the head of Asuka or Natalia that they could be against somebody like Bailey? Or Bailey, maybe she'll make her presence known. You never know. You, I mean, with how things go with interference in these matches, you never know. It, that's that is true. We could be hearing Ding Dong Hello before we know. But now it seems like we've hit the point of the match where one person, hey, Drew McIntyre, gets reversed. But I, what I was going to say was one person could change the outline of the match. It just seems like somebody needs to strike. And if they strike, it's it. It's done. The match could end. Oh, Drew's looking around. He's setting up for the Claymore. Johnny's already bloody. What's going to happen here? Claymore! 
Double Claymore, second Claymore. Is he going to keep him down for a three count though? Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre is the new WWE Champion. He did it, folks. He did it. And this time he did it in front of people. There's people there in that audience. I have to say, though, I did applaud Tegan Knox a little bit harder when Tegan Knox won the Royal Rumble because of her Cinderella story. But you have to applaud Drew McIntyre because Drew McIntyre is the new WWE Champion on the grandest stage of them all. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tegan Knox had an incredible run in the Rumble. I remember that now. But now we got that story to tell upcoming because this is it for Drew McIntyre. And the only question now is what happens next with the WWE Championship around the waist, around the waist of the Scottish Warrior? But for that, you'll have to find out next time because for now, we got other things to get to at WrestleMania. Next video upcoming. Congratulations, Drew. That is correct. Congratulations, Drew McIntyre.